In this video lesson, we're going to be talking about Booleans. And that's a way you can combine objects in 3D, or subtract them from each other, or intersect them from each other. Today, we're going to be using the Union Boolean to combine Suzanne's eyes with the rest of the head here. So to do that, let's go ahead and click on the eyes. So it looks like the eyes are bulging out a little bit from the head here, right there. So let's go into edit mode and move those vertices. Make sure you have your eyes selected and let's go to tab to go into edit mode and let's go to vertices. And if you zoom in here and pan over, you can grab some of these points here. Just hit G and Y and let's just barely move that back just like that and take another one, hit G and move it on the Y axis. And we're just going to move that just ever so slightly backwards. Let's orbit around, grab this one and hit G and Y and just move that back. Another one here is a little close, G and Y, and that will sink it in just a little bit. And that, I think, will help us when we're going to unionize our bullet. And you want these to really kind of overlap each other completely. This one here is doing the same thing, so we'll just G and hit the Y, move it back, G and Y, move it back, G and Y. And just slide that back. Now everything is kind of hidden and looks pretty much the way it was originally designed. So just go ahead and do this to your model. Make sure every, there's nothing poking out from Suzanne's little eyeballs here. So now let's go back into object mode. Click on Suzanne. And to add a Boolean, we're going to go into our modifiers tab. Looks like a little wrench. Click on add modifier. And under the generate column, we'll do Boolean, the third one down. And Boolean has a few different options, like I mentioned. You have the intersect, the union, and the difference. So today we're going to be doing the union because we want to bring the eyes in one with the skull, kind of connect them. So make sure you have union selected on the operation dropdown. And then on the object, you can click and select eyes, or there's an eyedropper. You can click the eyedropper and actually select the object eyes. And that will join those two together. So it looks like nothing has happened. We do see some kind of artifacting going on right here. And that's because Blender has made the union happen. But we're still seeing the old eyes kind of on top of it. So let's turn that first initial eyes layer off. And now you can see we've got a unioned Suzanne with some eyeballs. And this is simple as that. So now what we're going to do here is apply that modifier and we'll hit apply and now that's locked in you can go and get rid of the eye layer so let's just right click on that hit delete now let's check this model and go into edit mode and use our 3d printing toolbox to see if it's 3d printable so hit make sure you've got your suzanne head selected hit tab and then now hit check all on your 3d printing toolbox so there we go and it is 3d printable notice there's zero non-manifold edges so everything is completely watertight and sealed and it is 3D printable. So that's an easy and quick way to fix some models that you may find online or just to fix your models relatively quickly. In the next video, we're gonna be going over how to flatten this model so it'll sit on a desktop and print without supports. Let's dive in. 